Okay guys, welcome back. Now in this video, I just wanted to let you know that for this topic alone, that is about modules in ES 2015, I'm going to be making use of Tracer as a transpiler instead of TypeScript. Why? Let me explain. Now when we are dealing with modules, there are two things to keep in mind. The first one is the module syntax. Now the module syntax is the standard module syntax that ES 2015 is going to provide and is going to be the main focus for our learning in the next videos. And we also have module loading. So once we have the modules, we need to load those modules onto our browser. Now for this, there is no standard yet and it is still a work in progress. So at this point of time, it doesn't really matter if you use Tracer or Babel or TypeScript for module loading. But for me personally, I felt that if I was a beginner, then learning with Tracer was much more simpler. Now, so what is the initial setup that has to be done for loading modules with Tracer? Now, step one, create a folder. So I have created a new folder called ES modules. And within this module, or navigate to this module and open command prompt and run this command npm install es6 module loader tracer system.js now all these three are required to load our modules so when you execute that a known modules folder is going to be created with all the three es6 module loader system.js and tracer so that is the first step create a folder and run the command now our second step, create an index.html file with the following lines of code. Now I am going to have this on my GitHub, so not to worry. Now the first script link is for Tracer. The second script link is for System.js. And the third link is for ES6 module loader. And in the body tag, we have written another piece of line called system system.import source folder module a.js which brings us to our third step create a folder called src or source in the es6 modules folder and within that i have created two javascript files module a.js and module b.js now module b.js is where we are going to write pieces of code and export it so that module a.js can import it so three steps create a folder, run the command. Second step, create index.html with the following lines of code. Third step, create a folder called source with module a.js and module b.js. So with these things in mind, from the next video, let's understand the standardized syntax for modules in ES 2015. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.